Well, hello everybody, it's Bug Eater 64 and as you can see behind me, we're in DCS and this is a mission that I set up myself. <laughs> One of those set up quick missions. Uh, and because I wanted to test something. And just flying around, I, I changed my voice attacks and added some changes, edited my Huey uh, calls and uh, so just wanted to test it out. So came up with this little mission. It's on the Caucasus map and as you can see this is this Huey is part of the CIA's old Air America. This was a aviation service that uh, airline uh, cargo hauling everything that was run by the CIA in both Vietnam and Central America and who knows possibly other areas and so this is one of their paint schemes on the Huey so this is what we're doing today so we're gonna fly in here and uh, see what happens and uh, just you know there's some bad guys on the map up to the uh, north east of us but uh, we'll see if uh, we can go up there and find some things. So until we can get going, just look at the pretty pictures. <laughs> we'll see you inside the helicopter really soon. So we, here we are on the map. And as you can see, <clears throat> uh, this mission generated me out in the middle of nowhere. You can see some bases to... Uh, my southeast and over to the far east uh, you can see some uh, bad guys and our, our blue units are, are attacking them so I can't do any changes as far as uh, munitions or fuel or anything like that from this position why it spawned me out here in the middle of the field I don't know so what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and take off and I'll probably just head over to the base and see if we can do some rearming. Uh, just checking to see here uh, my pilot sight and unfortunately if you don't have power to the aircraft the sight doesn't illuminate and that was one of the changes I made to my voice attack system so uh, let's go ahead and see about getting some power to the bird and then we can make some changes. This is going to be a pretty much typical day for a CIA hired pilot flying for Air America. Alright, <clears throat> so let's go about getting her set up, get some things turned on here. Battery on, so now we got some power. Fuel's already on. Hydraulics and force trim. Get our throttle set, just cracked open. So we can go ahead and get uh, the helos up and running. It seems to be spooling up the way it should. Okay, gas producer and exhaust are coming up properly.
working. Exhaust heat and yes, producer are working. Pilot sight is working. Both our engine and rotor RPM looks good. <coughs> our kneeboard map here, see if we can get it set up, see exactly our position and which way we are facing. So what we'll be doing is taking off and coming down to the southeast to that base you can see, which is circled. That's where it was supposed to spawn us. It did it. So. Okay. Everything looks good. Let's take off and get moving a bit. We are losing both engine and yeah, our a morning light flash there and both our exhaust and gas producer gauges were pretty much they were very very hot they were pegging there for a minute and my uh, engine and rotor rpms both were going down don't understand what's going on there i've never had that happen before in the dcs sim with the Huey. Now in the real world I would say that may be an indication of possibly bad gas or, you know, interesting. Gas producer is still pretty well pegged. So is uh, my exhaust temps. That is not a good sign. Don't understand it. See if we can uh, and the RPMs are coming down again. There's a warning light. I was waiting for that. Very interesting. I'm not sure what is going on or why. Huh. even, you know, you can hear the RPMs coming down before you actually hear it or see it on the gauge. But you can see that, uh, both the exhaust and gas producer gauges are in the red. Uh, and the RPMs are way down. I don't understand it. But we can't get any repairs out here, so I've got to find a way to get the bird back to the base. So we, you know, until we can get to the base, there's nothing we can do about it out here. Intra, yeah, and the RPM just keep going down. I've never had anything close to this happen in GCS. Don't understand it. Maybe I got some bad fuel in the bird and didn't know it. Alright, let's go ahead and just uh, settle, her, settle her down. And we'll check our, our switches and gauges and see if we can't uh, figure out 
by air. What's going on here? We'll switch the bat off and then back on. And do the same thing with that. Voltmeter selector. Alright, right now the gauges. The exhaust looks good, gas yeah, producer looks good, RPMs, rotor and engine look good. So let's see if we can nurse this up drawer back to the base. Really, something I have never had that happen. Don't understand it. Never seen it. Everything's looking good right now, though. I'm not going to go too high. Just, I'm not going to go over the lake. Uh, just in case that shows up again. But if you ever saw the movie with Mel Gibson, Air America, you know that uh, a typical day for an Air America pilot was anything but typical. And so, as you can see, we are having anything but a typical day in the air. Off of the distance, you can see four friendlies. I don't know if they're uh, fast movers or if they're helicopters, but... Uh, There, where we're heading to go. So, like I said, it would be quicker for us to go straight across the water, but I think right now that's probably not a good idea. Everything's looking good, looking normal. So I don't know what was, that was all about. RPMs are right where they're supposed to be. And as you can see, we're just skirting the edge of the lake. So, interesting turn of events. And she seems to be flying normal now. But, uh, maybe some of you experts out there might have a better idea of what would cause that kind of failure. Because to me, it's a failure. We weren't going to fly it. 
for long if we couldn't get the RPMs to come back up and the engine temp, the exhaust and gas producer temperatures to get out of the red because that would have we'd have ended up with a fire for sure. ahead and make a left turn over the bridge. <clears throat> I'm thinking that the problem, you know, in the real world it might have been bad fuel, contaminated fuel, but, uh, you know, being that this is uh, a DCS, a simulation, then uh, I'm more inclined to think it may have been an uh, electrical switch that, uh, for whatever reason, didn't get indicated as being in the on position, so when I cycled some of the switches in the upper up top panel, um, you know, at that point it, it, it set the system properly, and that's why everything's working fine. But we are uh, approaching the base, and we'll go ahead and make an approach to the runway, and then turn off onto the taxiway and head back to the maintenance hangar. Have to excuse me for my cough there, sorry. Alright, we'll come to this uh, first turnout here to the left.
So now if something goes wrong and we end up having to get out of the aircraft quick, we can just dump her on the pavement and run like that. literally inches off the taxiway so that if something happens I can dump this thing on the ground and have really no ill effect of it. And I'm using track IR instead of my VR because lately for some reason I've been having real issues with uh, frame rates in DCS when I'm using my VR and they're much better with track IR so that's why we're doing it this way. I really prefer my VR because the depth of the field uh, and just the real immersion you get from it. But uh, track IRR isn't a bad uh, substitute. So you see that hangar and off to the left, that's where we're going to go. And I'm going to Put this helicopter right inside it. It's a little bit tricky because there's not a lot of clearance because it, as you can see up there there's about uh, I guess it's about a two foot uh, floor up from the tarmac so I've got to get over that and also not hit any of the uh, ceiling supports. So, this is what we're going to do here. Let's get her up, up the ramp. There we go. Get inside here, see if we can turn it around without getting silly. Just park it right here. And we'll go ahead and shut her down. Okay, so, alright, shut the fuel off. Okay, and... All our switches taken care of. She 
is put to bed. Gather our gear and we will exit the aircraft. Okay, well, we got done. Uh, as you saw, problems, you know, never had that happen before, as I said. Um, something happened with the RPMs. I wasn't getting it. Every time I'd try to take off, the RPMs would go down. Uh, my exhaust temps and, and were just, you know, getting really bad. And wasn't seeing anything on my... Uh, warnings indicator anything like that don't know what happened with the engine so you know did some clinking and s turning switches off and back on and apparently it corrected itself but instead of trying to go up there and conduct a mission uh, just took it to the base landed it brought it in here to our hangar uh, so maintenance can look at it so they don't even have to come outside they can stay in cover and uh, look at our Air America Huey UH-1. So, anyway, that was kind of fun. I enjoyed it. Hope you all had fun coming along with the, for the ride. And until next time, uh, we'll see you in the skies. And, as always, remember, safe flying.